a short related to uh, cold weather and concrete uh, installation. Um, a few, few tips. Um, one, don't put it on frozen ground. Frozen ground is frozen ground. Um, so if you've got frost out there, you're on frozen ground. Um, here's a scale, and you can find these scales online, but uh, let's just use this scale for now, and let's talk about how right this is the most important part here. Just think of the closer you get to freezing, the hard, longer it's going to take for your concrete to cure. Also, the closer you flirt around this freezing line, um, you're going to lose strength in your concrete at the 28 day. So even though it's set, um, you kept the concrete too low of a temperature for it to get for it to hydrate properly. It likes to be around 70 to 90 degrees. So can you imagine if you're setting concrete at 40, you're allowing your concrete to set down here at 40 degrees. Um, that's that's uh, humidity. Um, 40 degrees, um, then you are causing issues. So even though you're adding a heater to a room to do uh, an installation, and you get that temperature to 50 degrees, that's still not ideal. You're still going to lose a lot of strength in your concrete. So if strength matters, you got to get it up there. you got to get the ground up there. you got to get the ambient temperature up to uh, 70 degrees, ideally, um, in most, in, for most uh, applications. Um, again, uh, you've got to maintain this also. It needs some curing time. I would give it at least three days, as much as a week even, if you... Uh, if you're down here in this lower temperatures. So if you're going to just keep it on air 50 degrees overnight, you're, you're, you haven't done a good enough job. That, uh, that ground is going to suck up the heat from whatever concrete you have, whatever temperature the concrete had coming out of the truck, it's going to pull it down into the, uh, into, the, uh, into the ground. I'm sorry, the ground will pull its cold into the heat. Um, um, heat draws the cold. Um, so it's going to pull it up and it's going to slow down your concrete temperature or lower your concrete temperatures. This is when you use probes even into the, into the concrete to see your curing times. Um, when I say probes, I mean uh, temperature probes. You lay them down there, you get $100, $80 each, and you lose them. They get literally locked into the grid and you can check it remotely. Um, your temperatures will tell you when you've reached your proper curing time or what your concrete's doing. Uh, this I'm bringing this to your attention because I, someone's pouring a pad, a contractor's pouring a pad for a, um, I don't know, one of those big department stores, big lots, save a lot, whatever they are. It's a 100 by 100 foot pad. And the uh, person's pouring today, it's in Philadelphia, it's um, freezing temperatures, and uh, they, they sent me an image of a heater they're using, one heater inside the room. With uh, they got block walls, it turns out up, but they've got huge openings in the walls. Um, that is the only heat source. There's no insulation on the block walls. There's no insulation on the ceiling. Heat rises, so you can imagine how long it's going to take for. Uh, uh, well, you know, you know what's going to happen to the heat. It's going to go out the roof. Um, it's it's going to um, not heat up that pad enough. This one mega heater they have, it's still not going to be enough to maintain, ideally 70 degrees. 50 degrees. So with that said, you want to test your concrete samples. Um, you want to have a sample here, and you want to test it at 28 day to see what PSI you came up with. Now you may say, well, I can add more cement to the mix to help with this issue. Yeah, that does ha help to some point. Um, at some point, you, you just have to accept, though, uh, cement, which is part of the concrete mix, is, is going to come to an end. It's not going to hydrate properly. You cannot rehydrate cement. Um, so it's going to be this softer product. When I say softer, that's your PSI. So it's not going to hydrate to its max, 3,000 3, PSI, the total concrete mix. Um, it's going to do, you know, as low as 50% or lower even. So by pouring it closer to this freezing temperature, which they are doing now, um, they have a chance, in a, a chance of this, say, a 3,000 mix to be a 1,500 PSI mix. Very soft surfaced concrete. Um, when when the specs might call 1500, uh, this could be a real issue because they're actually building a wall um, around the uh, a wall around the uh, on top of the pad, a monolithic pour. So now they're going to be at 1500 psi footers, which uh, are not legal around this area at all. Um, so th that's a major.
issue. Just want to share that with you guys. Hope this is helpful.